Greetings, Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope. Now, this is really trippy because, you know, Gemini is eight from the eighth house. So, um, for you Scorpios, Gemini rules your eighth house. So, it's almost like Gemini makes you aware of your sexual obsessions, your fear of death, your um, <clears throat> willingness to um, be creative, to give birth, and that that's important to you in some way. It's also that you're very intuitive and you're known for being somewhat telepathic. Well, Gemini time in this air, in this thin space of air, the veil is thin and you're feeling what's going on. Now, here's the deal, Scorpio. Eighth house transits are like, you're not the one in control. And most of us fixed signs were sort of control freaks. You know, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. We're control freaks to some extent. Taurus and Leo a little more than Aquarius and Scorpio, but still, they're all control freaks. <clears throat> Each in their own way. All right? And um, this is the deal. It's that you have to be able to accept that other people can help you. And that it's okay to give other people the glory and... It's you're best off when you forgive others and when you hold on to resentment because really our anger only turns against us. We have to always renew ourselves, understand ourselves, free ourselves. And Gemini allows us that ability to take that other point of view. It also allows us that ability to, you know, sleep with somebody else without giving it too much thought, second thought. So you got to kind of be careful about that. But on the most part, you're in some deep spirituality and if you need help ask others because other people are actually more than willing to help you Scorpio don't be proud accept the help it'll bless them it'll be good karma for them and accepting a gift is actually good karma for you right now 